Do you need to keep your JotForm signed documents secure and confidential? Let me show you how to set an access code. Hey JetFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and as you can see, I am already in one of my signed documents. So once you have your signers delegated and you've added all of the additional fields that you need, we're gonna head up to the Send tab. Next, I'm going to add in my signers name and email. Then directly to the right of their email, we see two different icons. Now the first one is going to be our access code. So if we click on this key, we can assign any type of code we want. It can be numbers or it can be kind of like a password with numbers and letters. For this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and do one, two, three. Now, one thing that you can also do is the message bubble that's next to that access code key, we can let our person know what their access code is. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, access code is 123. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and send a sign and let's take a look at what this looks like from our signer's point of view. All right. So as you can see, we have this private message just to you. It says access code is 123. So if we do review and sign document and we add in that 123 access code, we have access to complete that document. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing the access code within JotForm Sign, definitely let us know down below in the comments. If you liked this video and you got some value, hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on that bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.